Let me show you on this video how to customize Google Forms. So let's get started right now. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Noob Magazine and I'm going to show you how to customize Google Forms. Now, if you don't know where to access Google Forms, you might be in Gmail, G Drive, etc. To go ahead and jump into Google Forms, click on this option button right here, scroll down here, and you're going to find this purple icon right here. Just go here and it's going to take you to Google Forms. Now, to customize a Google form, let's go ahead and create a new form from a blank form. And you have several options for customization. First of all, let's get started with the theme setting. So if you click up here, there's a customized theme setting. Now you have several available options here. One is header. For example, you have a header font that's available and we can change this to a different one. For example, if we want to change this to cost makes sense, see how the header just changed right here. That's a different font. If you want to change it again, we can go ahead and select another one and it changes. It's a little option here to customize it. Now you also have the option to select more fonts by clicking on more fonts right here. And there's hundreds of fonts available right here. You can go ahead and scroll through these or search right here. Now, in this case, there's also fonts for questions. So if you want to change the font for that one, that is possible. See how the questions just changed right here. And you can also change the text font by choosing, for example, Cosmic Sans. See right there. And we can also add an image to this. So we can go ahead and search through the themes available here. We can upload or we can select photos that we've previously uploaded on our G Drive. So for example, if I select this guitar, because maybe the form has to do with guitars, okay? So I'll just go ahead and select it there. And we've added a image right here. Now with the themes right here that you select, it's going to also come with bundled colors. So in this case, you can see that it changes the colors, all right? But if we don't like this color, we can go ahead and choose another one from here. And the colors go tight with the background. So if you select the color, the background is going to give you different type of options. So if we select a brown background, it's going to give us tan colors. If we select a blue one, it's going to give us like these sky colors. But you can also select a custom color. So let's just say that the branding for your form is going to be red. We are going to add red here and we're going to get some suggestions here that are going to go with that red. So in this case, I'm going to use this shade right here for the background. So we can change the color and we can change the background, right? Now that's for the theme settings for this purpose, but we can also customize here by adding a title and description. So when you click on one of these elements, you get this option. There's two T's right here and it's add title and description. If I select it here, I'm going to drag it on top of this first question and I can add my title here so I can say Google Forms. Okay. And then I can add a description, which is optional. If you leave it blank, it's just going to disappear. But if not, you can add a description here. And I'll just say description just for testing purposes. Okay. Now that's for the customization. You can go ahead and drag and drop this wherever you need it when you have questions. And each one of these questions will allow you to do that. Plus, you can also add an image in between the questions. So if I click on an image, I have uh, several options like upload, webcam, etc. I'm going to choose one from Google Images and I'm just going to say um, guitars. Okay. So I'm going to search through their library and I'm going to select this one. Let's go ahead and insert it. Here we go. And we can add, also add a title and description if we like or hover over text. So in this case, I'm going to leave the image, but there's also options here for the alignment. We can go ahead and change it or remove it. Now, these are ways that we can customize Google Forms to make them more personalized and not use the default theme that they provide. So you have several options here with Google Forms. Now, if you're looking for more customization, there's also the option in job form, which gives you way more flexibility when it comes to customization for your forms. So if you go to create a form, let's use one from scratch, classic form, and you'll be amazed how many options you have available to customize this form. Now, let me drag in some basic elements here like the full name and the email. OK, when it comes to customization, there's a little icon right here. This is form designer. If we open this up, there's several options available here. First off, you got colors. You got color schemes. So if I select something like this, it's going to give me a color scheme based on what I select. Here we go. And if I don't like the color scheme, just click on the X right here. Now, there's also page colors. There's also a page image. You got your form color, form image, form colors, advanced designer, and it jumps to a whole nother section. OK. There's the styles for here. For example, if you want to change the width, label alignment, question spacing, uh, choose a style from the style button. You got custom CSS. So you can really highly customize this. There's themes available. So if you like one of these themes, just go ahead and select it and it's going to change it for you, which is a really easy way to customize your form. Then you have your layout options, which has the classic form, which is everything in one single page. 
or the card form, which is a step form. Each single question is going to be in a step form manner. So a lot of customization. If you want to go really advanced, there's the advanced designer by clicking on this one and you're going to get a ton of more options here. So several options for customization on Jot form. So definitely check it out. There's the Google form option in case you want to use this. And if you want to have a highly customizable form, you have the job form option. Well, I thank you all for watching. If you have any doubts or questions, please leave us here in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.